，哦，偏全慢，有啲超靈。Oh, who are all pervading? Nama, obeisances, astute, may there be, unto you. Translation of essences unto you of unlimited energies, the unborn progenitor of this universe, the absolute, O soul of the high and the low, O soul of the created elements, O all pervading supreme soul of essences unto you. <laughs> 您是这宇宙不曾出现的本源，绝对者哦，高等和低等的灵魂，受造无数，受造元素的灵魂哦，遍存万有的超灵，我向你顶拜。This is illusion that earth, water, fire, air, ether, sense objects, demigods, mind, the senses, false ego, and the total material energy exist independent of you. In fact, they are all within you, my lord, who are one without the second. Dissension. Thank you.
实体超然哲学的真妙之处。从亲尽管至尊主独一无二，不同于他的创造，但他的创造却没有独立的存在性，并总是稀释于他之内。因此，主和他的创造同时，既同一又不同。正如采染一样，那发布在百年前解释的。如果说每件事物都是神，没有任何分别，是毫无意义的，因为没有任何事物能像神那样行事。狗、鞋子、人类不可能是全知、全能的，他们也不可能创造宇宙。另一方面，却有一种对万物归一的真实理解，因为一切都是同一位至尊，绝对真理的一部分。主才两尼亚给出了对太阳和阳光非常实有的类比：太阳和阳光是同一种实体，因为太阳是放射阳光的身体。另一方面，一个人肯定能区分太阳、星球和太阳光，因此神与他的创造同一，自又不同，是对真理终极与终极并充分的解释。存在的一切都是主的能量，而他却赐予高等能量生物体。以自由意志，因此他们能变得对他们的决定和活动的道德、灵性、品质、责任，这完全这完整的超然科学，在圣典佛教网谈中被清晰合理的进行了解释。咁我哋喺聖典佛教學談第十篇入邊咧，就係會誒聆聽咧 ，Krishna 嘅逍遙時光。And we're hearing in this particular chapter how Lord Krishna killed a powerful demon named Naraka。咁我哋喺呢一章入邊咧，就講述咧 Krishna 點樣去殺死呢一個 Naraka 嘅惡魔。Maharaj, we need Mandarin translation. Awesome. 普通話，普通話，有一部分說普通話。廣東廣東話可以嗎？都可以。只有一個人不懂。誰？這些都不懂。他們也不懂啊。他們也。They're all for them. All all she's also. Yeah. One, two, three. They both they also. So, for them. 我不行啊。哈哈哈哈哈！我不行，你好。我可以普通话，但是但是我要我英文不行，所以你说。你坐坐这一边可以吗？你跟他们一起。我啥？没关，你你坐，你不要这一起一起可以吗？你们坐这里可以吗？我知道。你们你们三个，那个金那个金，坐坐后面可以吗？他跟你们翻译。他给你们讲普通话，因为他的普通话他不会，不是吗？一、二、三、四，这个人。得得得，可以可以。你们坐这边可以吗？慢着听。哦，你讲二，你们两个吧。啊，你们两个。听不到。好。慢着听，慢着听，慢着听。来来来来来，你跟他们说。We're hearing about the demon 
uh, about how Krishna killed the demon named Naraka. Naraka had taken 16,000 young princesses and put them in prison. So Lord Krishna came and uh, killed this demon. And he was able to free the princess. But after he killed the demon, then this uh, goddess of the earth, Mother Bhumi, came to offer prayers to Lord Krishna. So Mother Bhumi happened to be the, the mother of the demon who was killed by Krishna. But still she's offering very feeling for the benefit. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 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 So Mother Bhumi is offering prayers to Lord Krishna after Lord Krishna had killed her son. Krishna was quite justified in killing this son of Bhumi because he was a powerful demon. And Mother Bhumi is a great devotee and she recognizes Lord Krishna as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And she was describing first in her first prayer, she was describing how he is omniscient, how he knows everything. And he knows every he knows everything and he's everywhere because he's the super soul in the hearts of all living entities. But he does not lose his independent existence. So, in the verse we are reading today, she is describing that the material creation is not independent of Krishna. The material, this material energy is Krishna's inferior energy. There are three main energies of Krishna. There is the spiritual energy, there is the marginal energy, and there is the material energy. So the, this whole material creation of the different elements, this is the inferior energy. And the spiritual world, with all the spiritual planets, that is all the superior energy. And we living entities, we are the marginal energy. We are struggling with the material nature. Because we are trying to control the material nature. We are thinking that we can that by our power we can con control the, this material world. 
We think we can control when it will rain or when the sun will shine. We think we can we should be able to control when it's daytime and when it's night. We think we should control when it's summer and when it's winter. Of course, we, we're, we're not all powerful. But we are thinking we can become all powerful. And because we are thinking in the ways independent of Krishna, this creates all of our problems. So we have to understand that we have a connection with Krishna. Everything is connected to him. We are all parts and parcels with Krishna. Krishna is the, the source of the energy and we are the energy. We are just one part of his energy. We have some potency, but very limited potency. But Krishna's potencies are all unlimited. And whatever potency we have, we get it by the grace of Krishna. So we have to understand that we are one with Krishna, but at the same time different from Him. We have potencies, we have qualities, we have energy. But everything is limited. So we are like a part, we are like a drop of water from the ocean. The water has all the qualities of the ocean. But different in quantity. Or like a speck of gold and a gold mine. Gold,哦，金子哈，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金子，金
Because the inferior energy does not have any consciousness. Right? The temple room, the floor, the table, they, they don't have consciousness. But we have consciousness, we are superior to the, in, the material elements. So because we are superior to them, we think that material energy is there for our sense gratification. We, we are forgetful that there's a superior energy above us. We are Prakriti, but above the Prakriti is the Purusha. And the, the ultimate Purusha is the Supreme Lord Krishna. We have that relationship with Krishna. He is the source of the energy, and we are the energy. So we are meant to work in the service of Krishna. And when we work in the service of Krishna, then we are acting in our proper position. No, people are people are very fond of thinking that the, this material world is our world belongs to us. We think this is this all all ours is all here for us to enjoy. But the deity of the earth planet, Bumi, she laughs at these foolish people. Because she sees them taking birth and then fighting with each other about being the proprietor. They say, they say, this land is my land, it belongs to me. But the land was here before they even took birth. And after they die, after they leave the world, the land will remain. So, whose land is it? Who, how, how can they claim this land is my land? We have nothing when we came and we leave with nothing. But we're claiming this is mine. And so Lord Chaitanya present, uh, presented for us this philosophy to understand our relationship with the world. And he, his philosophy is, explains how everything is inconceivably, simultaneously one and different from Krishna. We are all Krishna, but still there's a difference between Krishna, the original, and us. We are just a tiny part of Krishna. But we have some relationship with him. Just like the rays of the sun are connected to the sun. 
we see the light of the sun. The light of the sun represents the sun, the, the energy coming from the sun planet. In the same way, we all the forms of life which exist in the, this material world, they all have an origin. We, have, we are all spiritual beings, spirit souls. And these spirit souls are connected to the Supreme Soul. And the material bodies are given to us under the arrangement of that Supreme Soul. We have to we, we get a body for and because we have desires, we're given a material body. And the material body represents our karma which we have earned. When we get when when we when we have no more karma, then we don't need another material body. Then we become qualified to enter into the spiritual existence. We get free from the cycle of the material world, which is all birth and death. The material nature is all temporary, it's existing for some time. It's created, it maintained for some time and then it's destroyed. And then after some time then it's creation again. So in this way, material creation is going on again and again. But in the spiritual realm, there is eternal life. In the spiritual world, there is no fear of old age or disease or death. There's only eternal life there for all the living entities. And they're all enjoying happily their existence in that place. They don't have any anxiety. And so the, the spiritual world is called Vaikuntha, the place where there is no anxiety. But the material world is all anxiety. Every day we're in anxiety and the anxiety is increasing more and more. This anxiety comes about because we identify with the material body. Material body has senses and we want to enjoy these senses. And our enjoyment is to think that I'm the proprietor. This belongs to me, it's mine. But to come to the transcendental platform, we have to change the consciousness. We have to become the servant. We have to accept that actually nothing is mine. Everything belongs to Krishna. And I'm also his 
I'm part. I'm this tiny sacrament. So the devotee's prayer is to be always engaged in the service of Krishna. So Mother Bhumi is recognizing all of this. She is a, a transcendentally enlightened lady. And she has great devotion for the Supreme Lord. And so she's offering these prayers to glorify the Lord. She's describing the Lord's transcendental position. That everything, that he is above everything. And at the same time, nothing is independent of him. The, the whole material creation is his. <coughs> Just like one day, Lord Balaram told Mother Yashoda that Krishna had been eating dirt. So young mother Yashoda, she always thinks of Krishna as her child, and she asks Krishna, have you been eating dirt? And Krishna said, oh ma, I have not been eating dirt. Balaram, he's, he's trying to find fault with me, and he's just complaining about me. So then Mother Yashoda said, then open your mouth, let me see. And when Krishna opened his mouth, then Mother Yashoda looked within Krishna's mouth and she saw the whole cosmic manifestation. And she saw within Krishna's mouth everything, all the planets, all the universes. She saw her own self, what she was there looking in Krishna's mouth. In the same way, when Krishna was on the battlefield at Kurukshetra, he was speaking the Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna. So Krishna was explaining that everything rests on him, there's no truth superior to him. He explained how everything is, is his energy. So then Arjuna said to Krishna, well, I can accept everything you're saying philosophically. But he said, I want you to prove it practically. Can you demonstrate for me how everything comes from you? He said, I believe you're the Supreme, but there may be, there will be other people who won't. So you can defeat them if you prove it yourself. So, so I want you to show your universal form. So then Krishna revealed his universal form, he showed everything. Everywhere were his arms and legs and heads and and he saw everything that, that by the influence of the time factor, all the demons, all the, the sons of Dhritarashtra, they were all entering into the mouth of the universal form. Mm. 
吞吞进去。And so this way, Krishna was proving, showing to people. He was challenging them that if you are also, the, if you are me, if you are also the supreme, like me, I said I'm the supreme. I'm, pro I'm proving it now by showing the universal form. So if you are the supreme, you also have to show the universal. Form. 嗯，所以呢 ，Krishna 呢，他就嗯，就有这个这个挑战，就说所有人，如果他们也自称为这个至尊的话。我现在就展示了这个宇宙的形象。如果你是至尊的话，你也要展示这样的一个宇宙的形象。But if you can show the universal form, then you're you're not a real, you're not a supreme, you're a cheater. 如果你不能够去展示这个宇宙的形象的话，你并不是至尊，你只是一个骗子。So in so many different ways, Lord Krishna proves himself to be the supreme personality of God. 所以呢 ，Krishna 呢用很多不同的方式去，呃，证明他是至尊人格所示。Not only does Krishna say it himself, but it's accepted by all so many great authorities. 不单是 Krishna 他自己去说的，而且呢是被很多的权威所接受。Just like in the Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna says, "Asita Deva Narada Vyasa," they all accept Krishna as the supreme. 嗯，所以呢，就好像在呃，阿朱纳在《古拉法歌》里面说到这个啊，阿悉达、拉拉达还有维亚萨，他们都接受库什纳这个至尊的地位。阿朱纳 says now I'm also accepting you。那阿朱纳也说，我现在也接受。So somebody wants to understand who is the supreme, they have to be, they have to be able to prove it. If you want to know who is the supreme, you have to. Here from Krishna, you have to understand. So, if anyone wants to be accepted as the Supreme, he must prove it. Like he proved himself as the Supreme. You can see that this whole material world it, it appears to be independent, but behind everything, ultimately, there is Krishna. So, this is not only the world that appears to be independent. 其实，在背后，一切都是 Krishna。Just like in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna gives a nice example. He said, "Everything rests on me, just like pearls are strung on a thread." 那就好像 Krishna 他在《摩诃法歌》里面举了一个比喻，就是说，所有一切都栖栖息在我之上，就好像那个珍珠链呐、啊，就是我是那，就是一条线，把它们串串，把那个每一颗珍珠串在一起。It's like we see the beads, but we don't see the thread holding them together. 嗯，就是我们看见那个珍珠嘛，但是没有看见那个是有一条线把它们串联在一起，看不见那条线。In the same way, we see how the whole material creation, and it's so nicely arranged in in, in a systematic order, but we don't see who is doing it, who is controlling it. 嗯，就好像我们看见这个物质的存在，就是。井井有条的，然后，但是我没有看到背后是谁在安排这么，就是这些没有看谁是在背后的，就是去，呃，作为者是谁。But there has to be some intelligent being behind it. 嗯，那背后肯定有一些很有智慧的存在。Just like when you look at Hong Kong, you can see Hong Kong, so many people and so many arrangements. 嗯，就好像你看一看香港。就是有这么多的人口，然后呢，有很好的这个组织。You know that so many people have to be given water and they have to be given food. They have to get education. They have to get medical treatment. 他们呢，这么多人，他们需要得到这个教育啊、水源啊、医疗啊这些。So there has to be intelligent. There has to be intelligent people behind it, arranging for everything. 嗯、所以呢，背后一定有一些有智慧的人、有智力的人去安排这一切。If we say, "Oh, there's nobody there," it just happens by chance. 我们不能够说所有一切都是自然发生的、偶然发生的。Yeah, we want food. We go to the supermarket, right? 我们要食物的话，去到市场。The supermarket gives everything. 那超级市场里面有一切。But there has to be people to arrange to provide everything for the supermarket. 但是背后也要有人。去提供这些，呃，这些提供这些食物嘛，给这个超级市场。In the same way, who is providing everything for this creation? 那同样的，谁是在这个物质创造背后背后去提供这一切 ？If we 
界。It just happens by chance. 它不是偶然发生的。No, there's an intelligent being behind everything. So Mother Bumi recognizes this. And she's offering her prayers to him. Hare Krishna. Any question? Hey,你前的方式刚刚已经老师说，那个是通过看到Krishna是至尊主，这样确认。呃，现在连带的话就是通过聆听Krishna，然后的话来说确认是那个至尊主。那为什么用你那个以前那个这样更有效的方式，这
Just like people come and see the deities, and some people come and see the deity, they just see a statue. But people who are devotees and who are trained in devotion, when they come and see the deity, then they will actually see Krishna. Training is hearing. Any other question? Okay. Hare Krishna. Srimad Bhagavatam Ki. Uh, maybe we, we have to give an announcement today. Uh, any devotees going to the book fair? Uh, because there's a demonstration today from Causeway Bay to Wan Chai. Exactly, they end at Wan Chai. So um, we, we, we don't know how many people will join and the traffic, everything will be quite chaotic. Okay. So yeah, has to be. It starts in the afternoon, it starts at 3. Okay. Um,